Good morning and welcome to this, our last installment for uh, Midweek Manor for 2023. It's so wild to think that the year is almost over in just a few days. Uh, I have enjoyed doing these uh, devotions every Wednesday at uh, in the morning and, and the evening. And I hope those of you who have watched it have also in, enjoyed them. So today is our last one in connection to uh, Courageous and Free journey to inner healing and this morning I want to ask a question as always that's how it's been this month is what lies are you believing just think about that for a minute what lies are you believing what things have you convinced yourself are really real have you have you believed the lie that you're not good enough have you believed the lie that you are too old to do this or too old to do that have you believed a lot because you've been abused in previous relationships that no one can or want to love you how about you deserve the treatment that you got you know for a long time I uh, believed that tr that the way I was treated I deserved years ago I was assaulted in my apartment after coming home from being uh, at a bar for the evening when I got into my apartment, there was someone there who assaulted me. Uh, and uh, Later on, I felt like, you know, if I hadn't gone out and stayed out, you know, the wee hours in the morning at the bar, it would not have happened to me. I'm so thankful for therapists. I'm so thankful that God created therapists to help us realize the things that we come to believe about ourselves are not true. I did, did not deserve to be assaulted just because I came in late from out having a good time with other friends. And so when those moments happen, what we need to do is to just kind of sit and be quiet and ask God to reveal to you what lie or lies have you convinced yourself are real. And as we've talked about throughout this series this month, the things that we believe, we often project onto God. Because we believe we're not worthy, we believe that God can't love us. The reality is God created us to love us. And so when people tell us that we can't be loved because of who we love or we're not worthy because of what we may do, those are all lies that we have to let go of. You see, the enemy or Satan or evil, whatever term you want to affix to that being, doesn't want us to believe in God. They'd rather have us believe the lie because if we believe the lie long enough, we will convince ourselves we can't have a connection or a relationship with God. And that's just not true. So I challenge you as you go into 2024 to think about what lies have you believed maybe this year or maybe in previous years or throughout your whole life. Because as long as you have a connection with God and relationship with God, those lies are just that. They're lies. I want to close with a scripture. Zephaniah Yes, a book named Zephaniah, uh, chapter 3, verse 17. And it says, the Lord your God is in your midst. A warrior who gives victory, God will rejoice over you with gladness. God will renew you in God's love. God will rejoice over you with loud singing. God wants to rejoice over all of us. During that time that I was concerned about God uh, loving me because of what had happened to me, I lost time with God. I lost connection with God. And I had to remind myself that God does love me, just like God loves you. So let go of those lies. My grandma used to say that that's a lie of the devil. Let it go. And just know that God is there to give you the victory. God is there to love you. And God is there to watch over you. I'll see you later this evening or whenever you watch this. May you be blessed. Bye-bye.